We're going to take a driving test route now from the Colic Test Centre and I'll describe all along the journey what I'm looking at and what the examiner's after. So when you're ready we'll exit the car park which is to the left so observations around. Indicate left because there can definitely be people here so we'll indicate before we go. Nice and slow as we go out. Now we have priority when we go through the gates, anyone coming in should wait for us. But we can have a look down and see if there's anyone coming anyway. The examiner will also normally tell you to be in the middle as you go through the gates. But then return to your normal position. That's the left. They can't say that, that's for you to decide where the normal position is. And then at the end we're turning right. You can't really turn left, there's a barrier there, but people and bikes could still come through, so you need to check it. And you definitely need a right indicator as well. And they'll normally ask you a question at this moment about what you'd normally do on a day like today. Just, in a, just for them to get an idea of who you are and how relaxed you are and whether you want to talk or not. You decide. They want good driving, not good talking. End of the road, left. So checking my mirrors. Indicating left, I'm checking around left and right, it can be a busy place here, so looking for people, bikes, lorries, there's a lorry coming from the right, it's clear behind it, so plenty of good checks around, and of course now, the normal, staying on the left hand side, thinking about our speed, it's 30 miles an hour down here, thinking about our position, got a lot of puddles today, so I'm taking it a little bit further right, there's no one else coming, so I may as well. And I'm going to take you on a, on a bit of a test route now. At the roundabout, left first exit. So checking my mirrors around, no one behind me at all. Indicating left, that lorry's good and safe. Looking out to the right, there's a car coming from the right. I think it's clear, it's clear. Keep it on my side of the road. Next road on the right, please. You can see there's a sign coming up for a crossroads. Checking our mirrors, indicating right. Put ourselves towards the right hand side of our lane. We're gonna go after this first white van. It's clear in the new road, it's clear ahead, it's clear in the new road. And pull up on the left, please. So I'm not going to stop at the bus stop, but there's a curb just after. I've checked my mirrors and indicated. Slowly coming over to the curb. And coming to a stop. Drive on when you're ready, please. And at the traffic lights, turn right. Okay, check my mirrors, look around. Blind spot, and away I go. So the traffic light's right. I didn't indicate to move right, there was no one around me, and I was already coming over here. But I am going to indicate right now to let anybody else come in the opposite way fully understand what I'm doing. So I will be going right. I can see there's two lanes of traffic over there and all I've been told is turn right. So I'm going to take my default position, which is the left, when I've gone around there. So I'm waiting for my light so I can see where I'm going to go to because there's a lovely section in the middle with a bit of an arrow painted there and a bit of a white line on the right. I've only got one car coming the opposite way, so once they've gone, I should be able to go behind them. There's a lorry coming at the end of the street now. It might change. I'm still checking my mirrors. Lights have changed, so I hope to go behind that black car. I'm looking around, and I do, and I take the left position, just like I planned. I'm getting a bit more speed now, although the lights have changed ahead, we still want some speed here. Checking the mirrors slowing it down. You see the road ahead past the lights now. We've got two lanes that merge to one. So I'm checking my mirrors. When I get the green lights I know there's some fast moving traffic coming up behind me. They might have to stop or they might have speed. I'm not sure. And away I go. I'm checking that right mirror to get an understanding of how fast the cars are. The blue one's going to get by and then the silver one won't. No need to indicate because I'm just taking this normal position this left hand side. At the traffic lights, turn left, please. So at the traffic lights, turn left. I can't see the traffic lights, but I can see a white sign for them. So I know they're coming up soon. Left, so I need a left lane. Checking my mirrors. I've got a white.
white line to cross, so I'm going to have to indicate to cross that white line. Uh, I'm going to keep my indicator on because I'm going left at the lights anyway. Checking around as I slow down, the lights have just changed. I still need to be slow for the corner itself. Looks busy ahead with some parked cars and things. I'm going to place myself a little bit further right so I can see nicely down that road. I'm going to give myself a bit more distance to the car ahead as well so I can make my own decisions and I can stop where I want to stop. The red car coming the other way is quite fast. I want to meet it here on the wide bit. Looking to the left before I come left. Of course I'm checking my mirrors with the right before I go right and the left before I go left. That person's on the edge of the pavement. I'll move out a bit for them. Zebra crossing looks clear. Checking my mirrors. It definitely is clear. got a good distance to the car ahead now so I can make my own decisions and they're not really going to affect me if they suddenly do something wrong. Checking my mirrors regularly so every time I slow down I'm happy, every time I speed up I'm happy. Zebra crossing looks clear. There's a series of bends coming up, the first one to the right. Hmm. Series of bends, there's more than one. First one's to the right, don't know where the next one's going. And it bends, we're not turning, it's bends. So I don't need an indicator. I can see that from the white lines, look. And the zebra crossing looks clear. I'm looking out my side window to make sure, though. Ah, look at the white lines ahead. They go around to the left. And that looks a pretty tight corner, so I'm going to be nice and slow. Looking to the left, there is a car coming, I'm going to slow it right down, and then I can go between the two cars. I've been given no more instruction because everything is here to tell me what to do. There's a sign that tells me it would give way, I can see the give way, and I can see it says right turn on the ground. So I've got to turn right. I'm going to indicate anyway because a pedestrian might not know that. So I'm going to just make it clear to everyone where I'm going. Then we've got a zebra crossing over there, and that looks clear, but we're not going to go across it anyway. Looks clear in the new road, and around we go. And pull up on the left, please. Okay, he's asked me to pull up on the left. Got a nice clear section here, so I'm going to check the mirrors, put an indicator on, and pull up on the left. Drive on when you're ready, please. Okay, checking around and over my shoulder, it looks clear and away I go. So I'm behind this cyclist now, which is blocking my view a little bit. I can see all right here. I've got another car coming the other way and I can't really go anywhere. Ah, there's a road a bit on the left. They're going to the right. Okay, I'm going to keep going then. Check out my mirrors. That cyclist looked over his shoulder, he might be turning in a minute. So I'm just going to stay well behind him. in a second. That's fine on the driving test. You're allowed to. <coughs> Excuse me. So, it's clear ahead, but I can't get past that cyclist. It's too narrow. I don't want to. It wouldn't be safe. I've got a road coming up on the right. He's going to be coming in and out of these parked cars. So there isn't really anywhere safe for me to get past him. He does keep looking. So I'm going to make sure I'm, I'm further back, because he, he probably wants me to get by, but he's not stopping. Yeah, I'm going to stay where I am. I think that's the safest thing to do. Well, I can't see very far ahead because of this hill. So I'm going to make sure I've checked my mirrors now, so I can really concentrate ahead. I'm going to come back over to the left after this, this car here. He's slow because of the hill. It's clear ahead, so I'm going to go past now. looking clear ahead, the mirrors are all good, then I've got a tunnel and it says road narrows on the left hand side and it warns about pedestrians and bikes, okay, I'm going to have to go 
going over to the left to see what I can see. There's a car coming, I'm already committed here. I'm going to come back to the left now. Is it clear ahead? Well, I'm going to get there before she does. Yeah, it's clear. So I'm going to go straight. I'm going to keep in the middle because it looks quite narrow. There's no point staying to the left. It looks like it's clear ahead. I don't know what that car's doing though. It could be reversing into a drive, it could be turning round. So I've not really got any speed. I think he's reversing into a drive. Check my mirrors. Yeah, he is. He's safe. So now I'm going to get a bit more speed. And pull up on the left, please. Okay, checking my mirrors. And pull up on the left. High curb. Nice and close, but not too close. Good. And drive on when you're ready, please. Okay, there's a red car coming. I've also got that cyclist on the pavement on the right, so I'm going to make sure I definitely look at them. Yeah, he's off his bike now. Safe to go. Those pedestrians at that car haven't seen me. Make sure I keep an eye on them. It's clear in the mirrors, so I'm going to come a bit further to the left. I looked at them as I went by and they were safe. And at the end of the road, left, please. Checking my sensor in that mirror. Indicating slowing down. Looks clear to the right and the left. Look again. I can see the cycle box, so that's got to be the line there. So the lights are on red, so I'm looking around in my mirrors for anyone who might come by the side of me. Or need to come in front. Okay, now I'm going to move forward into the junction. I can't go until these cars have gone, but I need to move into the junction. So it's clear on the, road, on the right, green light, maybe after the white car. He's coming pretty fast, so I'm going to wait for him. Oh, now we've got an amber. That van's going through, the black car will stop then. I'd already seen that van was pretty fast, so I'm pretty sure he wasn't going to stop. Those lights as soon as they went to Anton. Okay, we've got some vans parked on the side. I'm checking my mirror so I know what's there. It's lovely and clear ahead, so I'm just going to go out to the middle. Then he come back to the left, so I'll look over there. Checking left and right because I'm going out right again and then back to the left.
next road on the left. Check my mirrors. Indicate no one coming from ahead. Can't see too well around that corner. Some parked cars, lots of parked cars. Oh, but it's nice and clear between them though. Okay, I'd like you to perform the reverse park on the road manoeuvre, the parallel park, on that white car that's ahead of us. We want to finish reasonably close to the kerb, in reasonably a straight and parallel to the kerb, and within two car lengths back, anywhere within two car lengths. Don't worry about stopping against drop kerbs whenever you're ready. Okay. So I'll start my observations now. I can see a car with its lights on behind, pedestrian on the left. Clear ahead, check around me and indicate to go out past that car now. Checking around as I do it, nice and straight. Stop into reverse, it's lovely and clear. That pedestrian's on the left in front of me now. Looking around, it's looking good, looking ahead, it's clear. That blue line is there on the left. Now I'm going to make sure the yellow line is next to the kerb. That's just the tree that it's seen, there's nothing to worry about. Oh, I don't know, it's not quite straight. Let me go a bit more. Yeah, I'm happy without a stop there. Thank you. Drive on when you're ready. Okay, there's the van coming, so I'll wait for that. It's clear behind though. It's clear everywhere else. It's clear behind the van. Indicates I'm hidden. And at the end of the road, turn right. Okay, it's busy down here. I'm going to slow down now. Indicating right. I'm going to come back over to my side and look over to the right where the danger is. And there's another van parked on the new road. Well, I can see down there quite nicely though that it's clear on the right. So I stopped just before the giveaway see down the side of that van really clearly. Went all the way to the giveaway line, I couldn't see. Okay, nice and clear in the mirrors. Nice and clear ahead. A road on the right, so I'll say left. Checking the right mirror. At the end of the road, turn right. Left and right mirrors. Indicating right. Coming back over to the left right turn here. It's lovely and clear up the road to the right, it's clear on the left. Got to come out past each car straight away though. Looking nice and clear ahead. At the end of the road left. Okay, busy again at the end. We slow it down now. Check in my mirrors and indicate left. Slowly up to the end, can't see anything to the right. Got some traffic lights and there's nothing moving. Good. There are cars coming from the left. Can I get by? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's through. I was slow enough to stop though, just in case I was wrong. I thought there was room. And as I moved forward, I then knew there was room. Cyclist up there, he's going to go out past that car, so I'm not going to bother going any faster. I'm going to slow it down now. Check my mirrors. Can't get by the cyclist, lots of cars, junction ahead, van coming the other way. So I'm just gonna stay back. At the traffic lights, right please. Oh the cyclist stopping. Okay, in that case I'm gonna go by. Check my mirror as well then for overtaking the cyclist and the cars and of course for turning right. Looking in my mirrors as I come to a stop. Looking at the new road looks nice and clear, no parked cars. Wait for the lights to change, looking in my mirrors, no cyclists that I can see. It's clearing the new road. Red light still. That, that learner's just struggling there. I'm just gonna wait for him a second. Okay, now I can go. Yeah, because they were they were in the junction. If I went out, they might just be stuck there and not be able to get out. So it was best to wait a second. Traffic lights right, please. Oh, okay. Next mirrors. Okay. 
may as well leave it on for the right turn anyway. I know this lane only goes right, but I may as well put it on. That let everyone know, pedestrians, whoever needs to know. The red light at the moment, got a car in front of us. Um, so when we get green light, they're going to go, and I'm going to join them in the middle, because there should be enough room, I think. Going quite slow, though. Yeah, there's enough room. And is it clear ahead? I, I think it's going to go. Is there room for me to go? Yeah, there is. The lights just changed as well, so it definitely was when the light changed. Because the last car was, or well, the next car was, was far away, so we're definitely going to stop for the lights. Ahead of the mini roundabout. Okay. So I've got a white car coming down. They're going to turn in front of me, so I'm going to slow down now and let them. I've already checked my mirror. It's clear behind that white car. And now I can go. Oh, I don't want to go by with that lorry now. I'm going to slow down a bit now, check my mirrors. It's clear behind the lorry, it's clear behind me. And then out I go now. I didn't indicate because there's nobody around. Next road on the left, please. Well, that says no left turns. And there's no entry sign, so it can't be that one. Checking my mirrors. Ah, there's a one way street there, look. Blue signs with the white arrow indicated left. Now, I know there's going to be no one turning out of there. The world looks really narrow. Go a bit slow, but I know there's no one turning out, so it should be alright. Okay. So I know no one's going to come the other way. So it's just about the width of the car and the width of the, this road. At the end of the road, turn right, please. So turning right at the end. And because it's a one way street, no one's going to come in, so I should be taking the right hand side. Checking those mirrors, indicating right, and then being on the right hand side to point out. And I've got myself a good position so I can see down the side of the cars on the right. See well left, behind this blue one looks good. Clear on the left, clear on the right, and the head as well. Oh, look at those lights on that vehicle. Warning me. Ah, they've just gone off, so he's moved off. And next road on the left. Checking my mirrors. I've been lorrying that new road. So it might be blocked, might be people around. I'm going to go nice and slow. Yeah, I can't get by. I'm going to get in the new road so I'm out of the way of the other road. Now that lorry's gone anyway. Let's just see if there's anyone behind it though. Nope. We're safe. And now we're going to go through here because we're, we're here first. Pull up on the left. Okay. That's a curve just there. Pull up on the left just there. Okay. And drive on when you're ready, please. That's quick. Okay, already in drive. Uh, check it's clear all around. Okay. And away I go. So the indicator as well. I've got another crest of a hill coming up, I can't see much over the top, but I've got to deal with this first. Park cars. So into the middle. Then I've got a lovely place on the left I can get to which is safe. Check my mirrors around, look to the left and come left. Right, mirrors are good, no one behind, don't need to worry about behind. The head looks clear, I can see the tops of the park cars, I must be able to see the cars are moving. There aren't any. Well, I'm going to come to the left and let him come through. If it doesn't want to, I'm going to indicate then and go. End of the road left, please. Clear to the right and to the left. Okay, 30 mile an hour road, because I've not seen any signs that you see before. Oh, there's a 20 sign over there. This must be 30. I'll make sure I stick to 30 now. I've got to 32 then. I saw it though, because I kept an eye on it. down there with hazard lights on, might have to do something with that. Yeah, but there's enough room, because look, that car's just gone by and there's a big bit in the middle. As long as it's not a lorry or a bus. Well, as long as they don't open a door like that. I'm going to slow down now and let that person get out of their car and get it, get to safety. Checking the mirrors, all good, now we can go past them. Two 
cars in front of me. So when they go into the middle, I might not have room. Not sure. I might have room, I'm not sure. I'll find out. So mirrors are all good. I'm going to let them go into the middle. Yeah, I'm going to wait behind the line a second. Oh, that, there's only a blue car. I think they're going to go. Yeah, I'm going to go. It was still amber. That was okay. Okay, so I'm going to give myself a bit, a bit of room because I can see there's some shops and things around. And I can see a zebra crosser, which I think is clear. Yeah, it's clear. Now I've got some room to those cars. I can just think for myself. I don't need to worry about them. They're braking, but I don't need to. They're all around. I've got a lorry coming either way now. I'm going to wait for the lorry. Check in my mirrors. It's got enough room to get by. The cars are a bit smaller, so I'm, I'm going to go now. But I'm just going to go forward a bit. Just to make sure people behind know that I'm moving. Now once this big red car's gone, I'm going to go. Yeah. It's my side of the road, so I ought to. Car's parked on the right, so anyone coming the other way is going to move over. Looking clear. Mirrors are good. Got box junction coming up, but the other side's all clear. Park cars on the left. Things coming the other way. Is a lorry coming? Can I get? Not sure. Yeah, I can. I'm okay. I wasn't sure, so I thought I'd stop. There's lots of keep clear on the road down here, so I'm going to make sure any junction I leave open. Zebra crossing's clear, and the road ahead's clear. Uh, so there's a railway crossing coming up, there's no lights on, so it's alright. And then it looks like a bit of a town centre, so I look busy. So the crossing is clear, the railway crossing, the getting out the other side of the box junction, fine. Cyclist on the right, is he going to come to the zebra crossing? I think he is. Yeah, he is, yeah. And those two people might, the three people might on the right, yeah, they are. So I'm going to wait for them as well. So whilst I'm waiting, I'll have a little look around. No one overtaking me. Wait till they're off the crossing. No one to the left and right. There's no entry sign up there. The zebra crossing, I can't see anything to the left though. I think I saw somebody. Yeah, there is someone there, look. Those people going to the crossing? No, I think I'm okay. And I've got to go to the right here. The person on the left is waiting for me. The ones on the right couldn't come in front. Zebra crossing's clear. Looking clear ahead. Yeah. Always good to look behind vehicles. Though. We're going so slow, it's easy to do left and right. Well, they're a bit committed. I'm going to slow down a touch for them. there's two lanes over there because I think I saw traffic going side by side so I'm going left and then right so they've told me those two things for a reason so when I go left I'll take the right lane as long as that looks sensible so lights are still red no cyclists or scooters on the left nothing on the right that's going to cause a problem it's just starting to rain a little bit shouldn't be a problem it's only a little bit Looking clear from the right. Got the traffic lights are red, nothing behind. Looks clear on the left. 
traffic going in front's quite quick, so it doesn't look like there's anything blocking on the left. Nothing in the mirrors. Lights are red. Mirrors are good. Oh, lights are changing. Mirrors are good. So I'm going left and right, so over to the right hand lane. Yeah, I can see the traffic lights now. So over to the right hand lane. Check that right mirror because I'm going to squeeze that bit there just in case somebody came past me. Now indicating right to change the lanes and for the right here to turn on the traffic lights. At the traffic lights right and then at the roundabout ahead, please. And right at the lights and then ahead. Oh, there's a sign in the new road, it's got two lanes. The left lane is for left or ahead, and the right lane is for right. So I'm going ahead at the roundabout, so I want the left hand lane. Even if there wasn't a sign, I think that's what I'd choose. Because left lane goes left, and left lane probably goes ahead. Checking the mirrors when I go. Over to the left lane then, and we've got nice arrows on the ground as well, so I know that's fine. Two lanes go into it, so I'm going to make sure I keep my shape. Nothing in my mirrors. I don't think there's anything coming in. It looks clear. Yeah, it's clear. So I'm going to keep my shape. Check my right hand side. Indicate left. And then we're heading to the test centre. Arriving at the Colic Test Centre, it's at the end of the road on the left. There's a little road that goes to it. So I'm checking on here as well before we get there. The left indicator. Nice and slow. It's quite bendy. Keep the course to the left hand side. Check there's no one coming. It's looking nice and clear. If there is, you've got to give way line. If not, out to the right hand side. Then go through the middle of the gates. Then return to the left hand side before going into the public car park. And I'm going to reverse into any bay on the right hand side. So checking my mirrors, it's nice and clear. Checked over my shoulder. So over to the right I come. Find the bay I want, looking around. Out to the left. Into reverse and check around. Get that wheel turning, get us lined up with the bay, see the white lines on both sides. Reverse nice and slowly, looking around as we do, and stop before the barrier.